Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Okay, I have to pop in right here. I'm gonna say something real fast. One, I filmed this whole video earlier, and it's not time now. That's my ugly curtains. <laughs> they're not ugly, but they're not hung up right. But um, Jesse's right here, so he's probably gonna shake the camera like he just did. Yeah. My voice is still messed up, as you can probably hear. And my stuff, Jesse. You gotta play with the loudest thing in the room, huh? No. No? Yeah. I probably have to refilm this again. I'll listen to this and see how loud it is. Is it stuck? Uh oh, you better be careful. He's sticking a spoon into the holes on the metal door uh, where the laundry stuff is. But, anyways, I filmed it earlier and I went to edit it now. Uh, I accidentally deleted the whole half of the, the front half of the video. So, it go. Yeah, you figured out how to open that door. Mom's gonna have to do something about that, huh? Uh, you gonna squish your fingers. I anyways, uh, get Max's spoon stuck. Um, oh. The only part that I deleted was the intro and the finished objects. It go. So I'm gonna refilm the intro, which is what I'm trying to do, and the finished objects, and then I'm just gonna insert the other clips. So I'm gonna be now, and then I'm gonna change to earlier today. So you're just gonna be now ready for bed, Ella, who took a shower and hair is all weird looking, wearing a Star Wars shirt, to earlier today, Ella, who looks nice and neat, and uh, they're wearing, I think, a little mermaid shirt. <laughs> and that video doesn't have Jesse in the background, it's before he came home. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. Now that that's out of the way, that's two minutes of me explaining that. Welcome back. Welcome back to all the new subscribers. Uh, if you stuck around for that two minute intro. Uh, welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna burp. I know that's rude, but I just ate a bowl of cereal. Cause I got really mad at myself for deleting that. And I was all huffy and puffy. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna deal with it. And then I sat down and ate a bowl of cereal and I got over it. So <laughs> I'm ready to fix my mistake. I'm filming on my phone because my camera is charging from earlier. But anyways, let me, I got my handy dandy notebook and I didn't even open it. <clears throat> I said welcome. <laughs> uh, it's February. Can y'all believe it's February 1st? Here it is. I don't you know. I guess it's February 2nd if you live in Australia. I think that's how it works. <laughs> but technically, it's the second when you're watching this, so it would be the third in Australia. So I'll be putting this up tomorrow, which is Friday. Anyways, finished objects. Let's just get on to it because I'm getting annoyed now again. First finished object is one of the Christmas ornaments that I made for Claudia's Crochet Along Crochet Luna uh, on her Ravelry group, which is hashtag Box of Ornaments 2018. Uh, her goal is to make to work on ornaments all year up until November for her tree because she wants a Christmas tree with nothing but handcrafted ornaments on it, which is really cool idea. Dad. Yeah, it's your spoon. Daddy. And then in November, she's going to host an uh, ornament swap. Oh, dang it. I just realized the heat's on. You'll probably heard that the whole time. Let me turn it off real fast. Uh, you could probably see me at a weird angle. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt and Daddy. Harry Potter pants. Look at that. Yeah, you're not going to make a loud noise, but it's all right because people love you. That's a chair. <laughs> I saw my crafting stuff in the corner of the dining room. Cause we don't really have a dining room because our table is not a good one. Anyways, uh, I was talking about Claudia and her craft along. But yeah, she's doing a um, ornament swap in November for anybody who wants to participate. You know, you'll have to. <laughs> he's, I'm afraid he's going to start banging and making noises. But anyways, this is the first one I made. It's a little reef. It's crazy colors. <laughs> this red is showing up crazy red, but it is kind of a bright red. But this, he knocked that over. This red is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Hot Red. This is Spring Green and then White. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. <coughs> it's a free pattern. I made this in like 30 minutes. If that. I mean, it's super quick. You make kind of like a donut shape. You start with a chain. You connect it. <coughs> you increase a couple of rows. And then you just do a few rows of single crochet. And then you decrease a few rows. And then... You sew it up, or I, I crocheted it together too close. Super quick and easy, like 30 minute um, thing, yeah. 
but it's the Christmas Crochet Reef by, um, oh gosh, Jonita Theron. I probably didn't say it right. Ooh. I used an F hook, and like I said, it's all my Heart Super Saver scraps. This is just like my, you can see it right there is my, I call it my ball sack. <laughs> a little inappropriate, but um, it's got all my yarn balls in it. This is where all this came from. Except why I do keep white and black out separate because I use that a lot. It's actually in my that thing. Anyways, um, but yeah, this is for the crochet long post by Claudia. I want to make more of these little reefs, maybe different colors, different shades of green or something. Maybe some brown ones. I don't know. I just thought it was cute, and I'd like to like this would be a good size to send to people for Christmas because like it's you could put that in a card, and it would only be like another stamp. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's using that spoon to open up the door that I took the handle off of so he couldn't get in there to my sewing machine. And I keep my sewing machine. <laughs> it's stuck. I'm not keep it away from him. Don't squish your fingers, please. Please be careful. If this stops all of a sudden, it's because he squished his fingers. Anyways, the next finished object is another Christmas ornament. Um a little dopey look. <laughs> Again, this is showing up really weird. But it's because I only got my light above me. It's a little robin. <laughs> it looks so goofy. I don't know. I just think it kind of looks goofy. He's got a little tail and his little arms and beak and his red breast and butt. <laughs> Hold on. I'll give it to you. Let me get finish talking about it, okay? It's a bird. Hold on. I'll give it to you. Just spin it. <laughs> Okay, y'all saw it. His little eyes. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, I knocked you guys over. Uh. <clears throat> I forgot what to say. <laughs> His little um, eyes are French knots, but I meant to do uh, safety eyes, and I had them out and everything. And I was just watching TV and crocheting, and um, I was watching YouTube videos. I was getting caught up. And I closed without even putting the eyes in. I stuffed him, I closed him, and I sewed him shut. And then I remembered to put his eyes in. So they're just French knots. Tweet, 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 yep. I'll probably never get that back. But, um, and his beak. The one in the pattern calls for um, felt. But I didn't want to use my felt. So I just, I took a scrap out of my ball bag. And, um, I took a, you know. A four ply uh, yes. piece of yarn, and I, I split it into two, like I did the other day with the sleeping bear, yes. and I crocheted it. It's kind of, you know, it makes it like threadish, kind of. Can we get smaller? The brown on the bird was Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte. The red was cherry red. The black is black, and the the beak orange, orange and yellow, was a little ball of scrap I had left over from. My scooty, that was Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, Bright Stripes, I think, uh, or Neon Stripes, no, it was Bright Stripes. Um, it was just part of the orange bit, so I just cut it off and used it as his nose. But that is... Daddy. The, Daddy's at work. Daddy. Daddy's at work. Yeah. That's a little broke, huh? I don't know how it got that way. <laughs> Anyways, it's the Christmas Robin ornament. All I gotta do is put one of the little hooky things on his head. Uh, made by Jessica Felton. The pattern was written kind of weird. Like it was almost like parts of it was missing. But I think it was translated from another language or something. But it's super basic. If you know how to make oval um, those little shapes for the wings and stuff. I mean, there was enough of the pattern there that I knew what I was supposed to do. Uh, I made it with an e-hook. Oh, my e-hook. I gotta go read that. But you're gonna see me in my pajamas. Uh, that's we <laughs> I'm gonna show you this hook in a minute because I meant to show it to you last week after I forgot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last finished object. Uh, I'm pretty proud of this one. I think it came out really cute and it was really annoying to make. I know Lucy Coates made one for sure, but I can't remember if someone else did. And it's the Cuddle Me Elephant. Uh, my sister wanted me to make this for her. She got me the yarn to make it, and she also, for payment, she got me the hook I'm about to show you, and that uh, yard of Tsum Tsum 
material. But this is made out of waffle well, garment butt. Um, I love this yarn, gray mist. The purple is I love this yarn, orchid. And this green color is I love this yarn, ocean. I think it's called ocean. And this pink is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Rose Pink. It's an elephant. And this white is just Red Heart Super Saver White. You can't play with this. This ain't for you. This is for Aunt Hattie. I gotta put it up. Um, his nose actually has toilet paper. Yeah, it's an elephant. Toilet paper stuffed in it because I was working on his nose in the bathroom floor while he was taking a bath one day. I was getting ready to sew it on and I didn't have my fiber for it. So I just grabbed some toilet paper and stuffed it the big top part of the nose. It works. Um, <clears throat> this is a really cute pattern. It was fairly easy. I could have got it done sooner, I think, if Jesse had a let me. <laughs> but the worst part was sewing these little flowers and leaves on because each one of them are separate pieces. And what I did first is I sewed each leaf to a flower and then I sewed the flower to the head. And this head is full of ends because I was really worried that back here would look weird. But I did a really good job at, uh, there's like one or three you can see, but I did a really good job at uh, hiding the ends. But yeah, though it was kind of annoying putting together because every piece was separate except the body and legs. This was one piece and then the head, the trunk, the arms, the ears, inside and outside were two separate pieces. I got the hiccups. And then all the flowers and leaves. But it's cute. It turned out great. I think the pattern calls for DK uh, size yarn and a smaller hook. But I used worsted weight yarn and an e-hook. And this is the hook that I used. My sister got me this. Where, where is the camera? Where is that? It is. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to look like this. You can't have this. You broke the last one that you play with. <laughs> Where is that? It's a crochet hook with, with hearts on it. It's supposed to look like C A N D hearts. If I say that word, he's gonna want it because he's gonna think it's edible. But it's just she got it for me. I'm trying to get it to show up better, but whatever. You can see it enough. And it's got like chocolate. Oh crap! I should have said that word. Right. <laughs> Here, it has got drizzle on it. It's just a really cute hook. I use that to make the bird also, the uh, robin. Uh that's all my finished objects other than the two bags which is a clip that I didn't delete so they should move over into <laughs> that clip so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I gotta cook some nachos I'm making nachos for dinner tonight and then Jesse's gotta take a bath because he's got red juice he was laying down drinking juice watching TV and it went all over his back I washed it off as good as I could just temporarily until bath time because it's almost bath time. Yeah, it's like 15 to 6 so it's almost time to go do that and then I want to make some nachos and then hopefully get to work on my Christmas tree square so I will see you guys in literally a few seconds uh, past Ella earlier today Ella and then I'll see you for sure when you go outside the goodbyes as earlier today Ella <laughs> I'll see you guys that was all my finished objects that are crochet related well crocheted the other two that I made are bags, and if you're on my um, Facebook group or my Instagram, you would have seen one of them. I got a whole pile of stuff over here, and it's this one. This is the first ever interface bag and zipper bag I ever made, and I just interfaced it with fusible fleece. This is the same. I have another bag made out of this. It's over here. It's one of my drawstring bags. It's the very first bag I ever made. So, and I had these two fat quarters. It's made of four fat quarters, two on the outside, two on the inside. I used a 14 inch zipper. I got this pattern off of YouTube, but it made like a 12 inch bag. So, because I had a bigger zipper, I just made it bigger bag. And uh, it's got a. What's in here? I can't remember what I put in here. <laughs> There's some kind of whip in there. The zipper is so squiggly. Oh, this is, this is a whip that I'm going to start. I'll talk about it in a little bit in whips. But, um, yeah, I think I did pretty alright. It's not, like, perfect. It's just got a, um, boxed bottom or squared bottom, whatever people call it. So, and it does stand up fairly good on its own. I just in, er, interfaced it with fusible fleece, so it's not super duper stiff, but it's squishy and stiffer than just a material bag. But, yeah, it's, like, 16 inches tall, I think, and 14 wide at this point. It's obviously thinner down here because the corner is being cut off. 
Hold on, Devin text. I gotta. He just he just got to work, so I have to. Oh gosh, auto correct got me. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I think I did pretty good. I want to make more, and I was gonna make a Sim Sim one, but I left my white thread at my mom's, and I have to get it back. Uh, and I just haven't been up there. So yeah, and I got now I gotta get more interfacing because I used a lot of it for this and the next bag. So that was the first bag I made, and this is the second one. This is just a drawstring bag, but I interfaced it. I had to make it the smaller size <clears throat> because I was almost out of interfacing. So I, could, I didn't have enough interfacing to make the big bag. So this is just another fat quarter that I had that is uh, Halloween themed. I got it at Walmart. This was scrap orange that I had from that bag. I forgot to show you the inside is orange. I gotta put a pull on here so it's easier to get, but the inside is orange on this bag. <clears throat> and inside this one's just black. Yeah, this is just one of my drawstring bags. It's just interface, so it is stiffer. This is, I had the robin in it last night, but I finished it and was set inside. So I didn't have to carry it in it. This is taller than my other bag because I made it the other way. Instead of this, you know, the fat quarters are longer than they all they are tall. So I switched them around and made this one tall and skinny. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> I think they both turned out really cute. And this does have the box bottom. I thought about not boxing the bottom, but then I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is all messed up still. Alright, I got a big pile of stuff here, and some of it's probably going to fall, but that's okay. That's all my finished objects. Uh, whips. Whips, whips, whips. First one is the American Flag Reef. I did work on this a little bit. This is something that I can work on in the living room with Jesse because... I just sit there. Ah, I just threw the hook. It's made with an H hook, and I'm and right now I'm working with Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's navy. But I didn't get to do a lot of this. I only got that. This is how much I just finished so far. Just that much of the curliness. <clears throat> and I still have that much more to go. <laughs> I did. I'm, I put like that much on there this week. I haven't really worked on it much at all. This is just one of those projects that I'm working on in between my other ones because this is for the fair and um, I'll pop up a picture of what it's supposed to look like but you're supposed to, once you get it all crocheted and the red and the white you get a reef form it's all curled up and then you wrap it around the reef like that and it'll be like wavy looking and you know blue and then red, white, red, 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 all, you know, all the way back to blue <laughs> And uh, then you put stars on it and make it into a uh, flag reef. And I'm making that to enter into our fair. It's living in my my newest other than the two interface bags. The candy one. It's all lumpy because I got two I got two big skeins in there and one little ball of yarn. Let me put the hook back in there so I don't forget. Alright. Throw that down there. That is by Erica Fedor. I don't know so that's free pattern. It'll be linked below as always. Alright, this one I haven't worked on in like two weeks, but I will start working on it now because the I was holding on to it for a crochet long. This is my Lost in Time shawl by Johanna Lindell. And it's being made in uh, line brand Mandala Genie. Um, it's been set in this size for two weeks, probably. And uh, now I can start working on it now that it's February 1st because today is Thursday, February 1st. Um, I can figure out what role I was on when I quit. But I'm do I'm gonna enter this into uh crochet along, which I completely forgot to write down. But I think it's the one hosted by Jody at um Even Gay's yeah, Even Gay's Crochet. I'll link it below, excuse me. Um she is doing a crochet along from I think it's February first to April first. So it's two whole months. It's all February, all March. Of you can enter any shawl made by that designer, which is Joanna Lindahl, but I can't remember her. It's like Miho Designs, I think. She made the Lost in Time shawl and the Secret Path shawl and a few other ones. And the majority of her patterns are free. And uh, she's going to do giveaways for people. I think she's going to have two for the Chatter Thread and one for the, um, no, two for the, 
I don't remember. She's going to have like three winners all together. But uh, they just have to be made by that designer of shawls. And she's got like five or six, I think, on her Ravelry. So uh, that will be linked below. And I'm actually going to make a video. I have it already written out, all my notes for it, about all the cows that I'm, in, I'm into right now. Just so if anyone's interested, it, it'll have all the details in one place. And for sure details, not me just trying to remember off the top of my head. But that's living in my cat bag, which was my first ever bag. And it's a drawstring bag. A little tiny one. This was the one from the pattern. This is what they come out if you follow the pattern. Or at least when I followed it. <laughs> I'm not that good at measuring. And I'm definitely not that good at cutting straight. Even though I have a rotary cutter and those little pad thingies. But yeah. That's my lost time. Alright. What other... That's the only whip I'm working on. Yeah, that's the only whip I'm working on. The other ones are whips that I'm going to be working on. We'll talk about this one first. This is going to be, this is all my yarn for the um, second square in Terry's crochet along that she's hosting at the Yarn Journal Podcast, which is going to be the uh, Repeat Crafter Me character, Christmas character pixel afghan, I think is what it's called. It is... We did the Santa one last month, January, and then this month, uh, she and me and a couple of people are doing the tree. You can really do any square you want, but it's, it's a square a month. So I'm doing the tree this month, and so um, I'm going to make the tree dark green on the background of light green. Which some people said they didn't like the green on green, but I think it looks okay. So I'm going to do that, and then some of the little ornaments in the star is going to be yellow, which I think this is pale yellow. And then some of the little ornaments are going to be, my heart super saver, I think this is just blue. I can't exactly remember. And then the garland I'm going to make this um, multicolored yarn. I'm going to use it to make the garland just because I thought that would be cute. And that's just all the I have left of that. I think it's called mistletoe or something like that. By Red Heart. But yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to try to start that tonight just because I want to get it started on February 1st and then work on it throughout February. I'm not going to go crazy and get this one done super fast. I don't know why I rushed to get the Santa one done. I had it done the first week of January and then I didn't have any of it to work on all January. So I'm going to just do a little bit of that. You know, there's there's four weeks in... If I started today, there's four weeks in February. Because it'll be the 1st to the 8th to the 15th to the 22nd. So I could do a fourth of it each week and have it done before March. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to try to go. I'm not going to, like, hound and go through it crazy. Alright. That, I'll link that below in Terry's uh, Facebook group if you're interested to join in the cow. There's plenty of time to get caught up because if you make it in mini corner to corner, you can make a square really quickly and get caught right up with us if you're not already participating. But there's a lot of people doing it. Alright, I didn't talk about that bag. This is just also the drawstring bag, just the jumbo one I made with four fat quarters and it's just skeletons. I have a ton of Halloween and Christmas fat quarters from being on clearance. Alright, this next one is... A St. Patrick's Day pattern that I'm going to make. Pull out all my balls. And skeins. Ooh, so many of them. <laughs> this is going to be... Okay, I'll pop up a picture. <clears throat> the Lucky Flag by Heidi Yates. This is a paid-for pattern, but I got it for free because she gives them away like crazy. If you're not a member of her Facebook group called... Um, totally snappy join it now because she gives almost every time she makes a new pattern she gives it away temporarily for free for the members of that group and um, so join it now <laughs> and she also gives away pattern codes all the time like she always has some kind of giveaway going on to where you can win but I'm gonna be making it it looks like a little leprechaun in a pot of gold <laughs> so I'm gonna be using um, all of it with her super saver but one and I think it's blue Red Hot, White and Black, I cannot say this one. I know what it is, As Azmeth, uh, it's a rock. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Spring Green, which I have a gajillion balls of, or skeins. I don't know where I got them all, but I have them. And then the only other non-Red Heart one is Crafter's Secret in Yellow. Because it called for a bright yellow, and the only Red Heart Super Saver Yellow I have is Pale Yellow. And um, I didn't want to go buy a new yarn, so I'm just going to use this. I got this forever ago to make my nephew a po uh, pokey. Pikachu hat. Or no, maybe that was his minion hat. No, it was the Pikachu one. Because I made his minion hat a couple of years ago. And the Pikachu one was like a year ago. Because he got into Pokemon for a while. But yeah, that's going to be really cute. It's living in another one of my drawstring bags. <laughs> 
This one, I love this one's pattern. It's so pretty. It's a Christmas one. It just says season greetings. It's got a little birds on it. Throwing all them in the floor. Alright, the last poten or soon to be whip I got to talk about is in my new zipper bag. Which I like making zipper bags and I want to make a few more better because this one's zipper's hard to unzip. But I still like the drawstring ones better because I'm afraid my yarn's going to get stuck in the zipper. And also with the drawstring, you could leave it open a little bit on the top. Like sitting on the couch is what I do. And then you can just pull your yarn through the hole and not have it everywhere. I think that's why I like the drawstring bag so much. But I do love this bag. And I want to make little zipper bags for like hooks and stitch markers and stuff like that. So yeah. Alright, this this one I'm starting. I'm, I'm wanting to start these today. This is going to be two of the same thing. And it's another Heidi Yates Pratt pattern. It is paid PDF but a free written out one on her um, <clears throat> her website. I got the PDF for free because like I said when she first released it she gave it out for free for like a couple of days so I got to get the PDF for free but it is on her site for free. I don't say for free a lot of times. But these are going to be little owl um, you know those little tissue packs that are going to go inside that and they're little, they look like little owls. I'm going to make one for me and probably one for my sister. And this is just a leftover scrap ball of Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's called Bon Bon. And then this is a uh, Premier yarn. I can't remember what it's called. But I got it at Michael's forever ago. And it's just it's really rough. I don't really like it. So I've been using it for emigrimi type things. And so I'm just going to use that to make one. I'll probably make mine in this one because I like this color. And I'll make this one for my sister. And then I just got a, a little cake of white out that I have and some orange to make their eyes and beak out of. But those should work up super duper fast. They're little. Um, I could probably do them in like one setting. I might actually do them in one setting tomorrow when Jesse goes to his grandpa's. He's at my mom's right now but she's bringing them back in a little while. And then tomorrow night he'll go to his other grandparents. Because everybody likes sharing him. <laughs> but yeah, that is all of my <clears throat> goodness gracious. Has all of my whips and all of my finished objects. I only, I only got one acquisition and it has nothing to do with yarn. But it's laying right here so I'll show you. It's just some scrapbook paper. <laughs> Adult scrapbook. I always wanted to but I think I mentioned it in another video that I never wanted to get into it. Because I didn't want a ton of scrapbooks. But what I'm wanting to do is make um, Nikki at Smurthy161. She does crochet. Y'all probably know who she is. But I'll link her below anyways. She also paper crafts. And she posted a video, I think this morning or yesterday. I can't remember. Of a little journal that she's making. And she shared a Facebook group and everything that I, I went to try to get into. But it's, it's, you have to get accepted in it. And I'm waiting to get accepted, hopefully. But, um, and I kind of wanted, I wanted to always make one of those traveler journal, journal things. But I didn't want to buy one because they're kind of expensive. So this is this is five dollars at Walmart for fifty um, sheets. I do wish they were double sided, but um, I'm gonna try to make my own version, kind of like she did. Hers looked just so neat. And she just puts little little memories in it and little bits of memories. You know, like she put a packet or label to chocolate that they ate in the memory of it, and some leftover Christmas, you know, stuff and. Uh, like a ball band in there for something that she made for someone and I just think that's cute and I just want to be able to do that and plus I've talked about it before I'm a huge fan of stickers I have always loved stickers and since, I was, since I was a little girl I would have sticker books which I wish I was still a thing because I would love to buy Jesse that uh, I think he would like it because he loves peeling stickers off stuff but <laughs> I have a ton of stickers right now like hundreds of stickers and I buy them because they're cute and I want to use them, but then I don't know what to use them on because I don't scrapbook or nothing. So I want to start doing like a paper journal that I can use my stickers. I do use them in planning, but I don't have a lot of stuff to plan. I mean, my life's not that exciting. But um, I thought about starting to use them in my my crochet journal that I started at the beginning of this year. Because <laughs> I want to try to keep track of all the stuff that I make this year. And so far on Ravelry, I have finished uh, um, 13 projects since January 1st. Technically 14 because I haven't made the project page for one thing yet. And <clears throat> I put as my goal to make 25 this year and I'm going to get that in a couple months probably. So I'm going to have to go change my goal and round the to a higher number. And um, I don't know, I might, shoot, I might put it to 100 and see if I get to 100 projects this year. 
because you know I'm, I'm going hot right now popping out stuff but it might die off in a few months you know especially when summer gets here and I'm more busy with Jesse but um it's I like that challenge tracker they have on there so that you can challenge yourself to make patterns I love the project pages on there the way you can track everything but I'm also tracking on here because things that I don't make project page for like um you know my bags and stuff I want to keep track of what I'll make this year it's just like a craft goal of mine and then at the end of the year I can go back to this notebook and uh, see what I'll do this year <laughs> and like recap it I don't know but anyways back to this I do want to make one of those journals I might work on that later tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow since Jesse will be home in a little while <clears throat> and he will not let me play with paper or pens when he's here because he wants them alright I am going to be making a video all about the cows I'm in I uh, mentioned that earlier. I think I'm only participating in three. The shawl one, the Christmas ornament one, the one with Harry. I'm pretty sure that's the only three I'm in. But I'm even going to make a video detailing all those in case you're interested. I'm going to try to get that out this Sunday. I'm going to film it probably tomorrow and then edit it and get it out Sunday. Because some of them have already started. Like I said, Terry's has already started. The ornament one started, started, but it's all year. And then the shawl one. So, um... I want to get that filmed and edited and out. And then I made the hash, the shout out one. I made it out yesterday, I think. And I still got a few more that I would hope, I hope to, ugh, I'm hoping to make soon. I'm trying to wait for my voice to get better to make any voiceover ones. Because there's a couple of rivalry ones that I want to make that um, I want to be able to talk better um, during so that people can hear me. But yeah. I think that's about it. I don't have any updates really because I don't talk about everything. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and head off here. I don't think there's any live stuff. No, other than the weather. That's pretty much it. My life is boring. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be Sunday, hopefully. If not, it'll for sure be next Friday. Um, yeah. As usual, all my links are below my Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, my Facebook group, and my Instagram. Um, all the people I talked about will be linked below, and all the projects. And if I forgot anything, just holler at me and let me know. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, you can subscribe if you want to see more. And hit the little bell button to get notifications. I love that because um, it's interesting, you know, it's, it's nice to see. What am I trying to say? It's nice for it to pop up on my phone so that I don't miss someone's upload is what I'm trying to say. But I keep, I'm just, I'm still sick. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I need to get stuff ready before Jesse comes home. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.